In this episode of Studio Press TV, we're going to take a look at the SEO options that are built into Genesis. So over in your Genesis menu, we're going to click on that, and then we're going to go to SEO settings. Now the first section pertains to your doc title settings, and as it says in the documentation on the screen, the document title is the single most important SEO tag in your document source. Now, we have several different options uh, for you to work with your document title. The first one on by default is to append the site description to the doc title on the home page, and the other option there is to append the site name to the doc title on the inner pages. Now, why would you want to append the site description to the doc title on the home page? Why do we have that checked off by default? Why would you maybe leave that unchecked? Well, the reason that maybe you would have that checked is if your site title is a brand name instead of a keyword. So, for example, Studio Press, that's a brand name. It's not really a keyword. If you'll notice, on our doc title, we have Studio Press, and then we've also appended the description, which is Premium WordPress Themes. Now, we would like to rank high for Premium WordPress Themes. Now, obviously, if anybody types in Studio Press, our site's going to come right up. But if they type in Premium WordPress Themes, we want to rank high for that content. And so we include that in our document title. And so we've appended the site description to the document title on our home page. Now, you could also choose to check off to append the site name to the doc title on your inner pages. Now, there's a couple reasons why you might want to do this, and uh, these, these are completely up to you. Um, the first one is, is it can help build your brand. Obviously, any time that your, uh, your brand name or your site title appears in search engine results or wherever, it helps build brand recognition. So that's one reason why you might want to include it. A second reason you might want to include it is just for user friendliness. Um, anytime that uh, somebody hits their back button or they're looking through their browser history, maybe at a certain blog article, um, they'll notice that it came from your site. And uh, that can be a, a source of user friendliness to them as well. Now, the other options that we have here, if you do choose to append uh, to uh, <coughs> your description or your site name uh, in your SEO here, you can either do it to the left or the right. Now, wh why choose left? Why choose right? Well, by default, we have your set to be on the right. And the reason for that is, is because if you'll notice in Google search results, um, it's going to print uh, the, uh, the document title in its fullness, uh, first of all, on the left-hand side. And if your site name comes first, what if you have a huge long site name? Well, the problem is, is that the person who's looking through those search results, they're going to see uh, your huge long site name and Google may truncate uh, your document title and they may not see that entire document title or the document title at all and uh, they might not even click on that uh, result so what we recommend that you do is that you keep uh, that uh, site name if you're going to go ahead and append that keep that on the right hand side um, now for some examples you might need to keep it on the left but that would be individual cases only now down under the home page settings uh, we're going to determine what text we'd like to have wrapped in H1 tags. Now, as we say here, the H1 tag is arguably the second most important SEO tag in the document source. And so we would encourage you to choose wisely. Now, by default, we are going to have the site title wrapped in an H1 tag, but you could also choose the site description or you could choose neither. Now, why would you choose the site description and possibly over the site title? Well, if really depends on what you want to rank for. So, for example, let's say that you have a site called creativecakes.com and uh, you make custom cupcakes and uh, you're a brick and mortar shop and you're based in, let's say, Denver, Colorado. And your main audience is to get people to walk into your store and to buy cupcakes. Now, you may sell online, you may not, but your particular uh, demographic is to get people off the street to come and walk in. Now, if people are searching for, uh, for cupcakes, you want them to find your store that's in Denver. So if you only wrap your site title in H1 tag, it may not be as useful to you because it'll just be custom cupcakes. Now in your site description, you may have the best cupcakes in Denver. And there what we can do is if we choose to uh, wrap our site description there, uh, we're ranking higher for keywords that we really want people to be uh, searching for us by. So cupcakes that are in Denver, the best cupcakes. Um, and so the wrapping the site description can uh, be better in this particular instance for our search and res engine results. Um, 
And then also, maybe neither of these will uh, fit your circumstance, and you can wrap your own text on the home page there. Now, obviously, here if we have your home doc title. If you use the, if you leave the doc title field blank, your site's title will be used instead. Um, you could obviously you know, put in your own custom title in that particular uh, place. Now the next two options we have down here is to put in a home meta description and also to put in home meta keywords. Now meta descriptions and meta keywords are not typically uh, used as much by search engines anymore and uh, but you can still put them in uh, particularly for keywords um, and search engines really today don't give them a lot of consideration. One reason why it could be helpful to uh, put in keywords here is it can help you start to think about what content you want to rank high for. Um, and the meta description actually does appear and uh, that can be used uh, in, in search engine results to show maybe what your site is about um, and uh, it will maybe sh put in a short text blurb that appears in search engine results so it can help build brand recognition or it can help build awareness of what your particular article or, uh, or site is, is about. Um, next we have the home page robot meta tags and they tell search engines how to handle the home page. No index means to not index the page at all, and it won't appear in search results. No follow means to do not follow any links from this page, and no archive tells them not to make an archive of the page. Why would you use these, or why would you turn maybe these on and off? Well, maybe you have a site that changes on a daily basis. Maybe you're a stock quote site, or you have a photo of the day, or a recipe of the day, or things like that. And uh, it doesn't uh, make a lot of sense to maybe archive these things. Now, the next document we have down there is the document head settings. And by default, WordPress places several tags in your document head. And uh, we found that most of these are completely unnecessary. They don't really provide a lot of search engine optimization value. And so uh, we choose to un, um, include them. So they're off by default. Now, you may have a specific need for a plugin or a non typical use. And uh, we do enable. Uh, we do allow you to enable them here if you want to. Robot meta settings, depending on your situation, okay, you can uh, choose to uh, archive the following pages um, or to allow them to be indexed by search engines. And uh, it's going to really depend on your particular situation. Um, we would recommend that at least one archive should be indexed, but indexing multiple archives will typically result in a duplicate content penalization, uh, which is multiple pages with identical content. It looks manipulative to search engines. So for most sites, either the home page or the blog page, uh, if you use the blog template in Genesis, will serve as this index. And that's why the default is not to index categories, tags, authors, dates, or searches in this particular instance here. We also have archive settings and what this does is canonical links will point search engines to the front page of paginated content. So search engines have to choose the preferred link when there's duplicate content on pages. And what this does when it's checked off is it tells them that this is paged content and the first page starts here. And what it does is this helps avoid spreading keywords across multiple pages. Now, I do want to mention here that if you have another search engine optimization plugin installed, that uh, it will automatically uh, turn our options off, and so you don't need to worry about uh, them conflicting. And if it's a well-known one, if it's not as well-known, if you're not sure, hit us up on the support form, and, uh, and we'll let you know for sure. But those are some of the Genesis search engine optimization settings that you can uh, play with, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll uh, be getting a lot of search results and a lot of um, traffic to your site based on what we've been able to do for you here in Genesis.